Hello, hello, hello. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ifoma Genevieve. I am so freaking excited to be here. Um, I've been like, I filmed so many videos, so many things, I've just never posted them. So I decided to put it on my phone and just upload it directly from that. So that way, there's no excuses. Just get her done, get her done. So today, um, oh, for those of you who are brand new, hello and welcome. And for those of you who have been around forever in a year, thank you so much for your patience. I have not posted a video in like two issues. <laughs> I know, I know, it's crazy to me too. And I've like, well, that's another whole story. But for those of you who are brand new, I do readings, um, guidance, spiritual guidance. I'm a spiritual soul coach. I help other people, women mostly, and conscious men uh, tap into their greatness by unleveling, uncovering limited beliefs and blocks, and we work through them together. I'm an Akashic Record practitioner, Reiki master teacher, and Tarot. Ha! So yes, today's video will be a reading, and I'm super excited. The deck I'm using is the Angel Tarot Cards from Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. I've had this deck for the longest time and it was the first deck I learned how to read tarot on. So yeah, I already pulled the cards and I already shuffled praying over them and I'm just gonna go, I don't know what the cards are, but the first card I pulled, Six of Earth. Gifts of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan, or paying off debts. I'm seeing balance right here. So maybe in order for this to happen, all these awesome things, there needs to be balance in your life. Um, maybe you're overworking, or you're not working enough, or whatever it looks like for you, you'll know. And I have to say, before I go any further, the, this reading is timeless, regardless of Whenever you stumble upon this video, if you're called to watch it, you're here for a reason. Um, and if the re messages don't resonate right away, typically things need to shift and move energetically within your psyche, being, soul, life um, in order for the messages to resonate, if that makes sense. But this is the highest and best for the collective, whoever is watching, and that is you. <laughs> um, let's see what else comes through through the records. So I'm sensing there's limited blocks and beliefs surrounding money, finances, living your best life career. I'm also sensing the energy has been for me particularly, but like collectively, it's been really fuzzy, foggy, um, thick for lack of any other words. It's, it's been a thing. So Mercury just recently went direct. We still are in the shadow period. I think Neptune is going direct. We have all this planetary universal magic that's happening for us in the universe. And when these planets and these energies are aligning, shifting, reversing, directing, all those things, um, it causes upheaval for us. But what I'm hearing is to stay on the path, remove these limited blocks and beliefs by saying affirmations, positive affirmations, find a teacher, a... Um, mentor, somebody that you can look up to that's really positive to help you navigate through your path so these things transpire. And I'm also getting health. So focus on nourishing yourself with healthy, whole-based plants, vegetables, organic meats, lots of water, um, a lot of y'all are really dehydrated. <laughs> you need to drink your water. <laughs> um, and if you're not like a water fan, put limes in there, lemons, cucumbers, berries, and let it infuse. Um, that'll help. Teas, herbal teas are great even. Yeah. I heard also fear and stepping into the unknown. Because there's like a collective fog for us, stay the path. Work on your own grounding and your own inner self, and that's gonna help propel you forward in staying the course. If fear pops up, limited beliefs, negative thoughts, old patterns are coming up right now to release, for us to release all this, to step into our highest and best self. 
let it happen let the feelings wash over you journal it out like for me all last week I kind of felt just like meh for like I was treading water like I know I know where I want to go I have this intention of where I want to go and what I want to bring into me but it just felt like I've been drifting slowly through this cloudiness that and then all these fears are popping up so for me to self-soothe what I old patterns of my childhood like I used to just overeat everything so I found like I just wanted to eat all the things so I would just sit with my emotions and my feelings drink more water first and I would let myself eat up until my body was full so there's that I wasn't binging I wasn't going overboard I was just staying in the moment and honoring the feelings and emotions that were coming up so that way um I could process them and just let them let them be like honor what was coming up it was teaching me showing me something but then I could just release okay next card justice a fair and just decisions do what you know is right stand up for your beliefs um so eight to me means abundance which goes along with this gives some money time or effort new career opportunities receiving a loan paying off debt um so I also just heard, be yourself, stand in your power. There could be outside influences. It, it could be even social media, what you're consuming, social media, what you're watching on TV, what you're reading, um, people surrounded by you or the people that you're surrounded by. But stand up for yourself, stand in your strength. Don't let anybody outside opinions, influences, their projections influence where you're trying to go and where you're working on going right um do what you know is right fair and just decisions again i'm seeing the balance so there needs to be more balance in a lot of y'all's life um either you're overworking underworking n n overly taking care of yourself by meaning maybe you're too obsessive with what you're eating what you're drinking what you're thinking that type of stuff um, they want balance to me is flow, right? Balance is flow in partnership with the universe, with God, whatever word you want to use. Um, just kind of surrendering the present moment and allowing what comes up to come up and doing what you feel is right. So when it says doing what you know to know is right at your core, your heart space, um, doing those things that feel good to you and move in a proper direction because that's going to help bring you forward so they just wanted me to give you guys reiki at the same time so here we go lots of energy flowing through and i'm also getting with this a lot of you are afraid to step into who you truly are um what you're meant to do in this world in this lifetime what your soul wants you to do Akashic Records, deleting these old energies for you. So what happens when they delete an energy, the lesson stays, but the energy stuck to it in the traumatic sense, the feelings of the heaviness, that is cut. So now they're flooding you guys with love and light, peace, and the affirmation they're bringing in is, I feel I'm safe to step forward on my path. I am safe and I am protected. So it could take a couple, anywhere from a couple weeks to a few months, depending on the person, the individual, for this energy, the new energy that the Akashic Records brought in. Um, it takes a bit to match the energy for us to get there. So what their suggestion is drinking a lot, a lot of water, getting out in nature, taking a walk even if it's too, too cold where you live. Um, plants, be around plants. Aromatherapy can help. Taking baths, salt water baths. We don't have a bathtub. Take some Epsom salt, bring it in the shower, and use it as a scrub, as an exfoliant. Um, and lots of deep breathing. A lot of you are holding your breath because you're stressed. Let it go. Okay, close your eyes. Take a big breath in. Slow exhale. Let everything go. All your tension, stress, worries. Give it to a higher power. Trust that you are safe. Okay, on to the next, card three. Oh, you guys, I love this. The Empress, Archangel Gabriel, lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. So 
look at this magic coming through. What I'm see, hearing, seeing, feeling is that no matter, even though the energies might feel a certain way, um, that we're moving through it. This is all coming up for our best and highest good. This is all coming up for us to release what has been weighing us down, keeping us in those shackles and those chains. We as human beings have this false perception that we're supposed to be grinding and hustling and, you know, working these jobs or doing these things that don't align with our soul being. And I'm here to tell you that that is not true. We are here to thrive. We are here to have abundance, to be our best selves and to really align our souls with what makes us feel good and what makes us happy. Um, yeah, I'm seeing butterflies, transformation, empress, like, like birth. You guys are giving birth to the new you, to new ideas, to your new employment, new job. I'm even hearing new houses. You, some of you guys could be moving. Um, new cities, new, new surroundings, new people are coming into your life. But in order to get here, we need to nourish ourselves first. We need to fill up our own self-love cup first and foremost before we can have that overflow to give to others. Otherwise, we're just depleting ourselves. Otherwise, yeah, it does us no service whatsoever um, to overgive, to overexplain. I'm hearing even, I'm hearing some of, some of you guys need to be using more discernment. Um, overexplaining ourselves is a trauma response to childhood patterns that we grew up with. That is something that I used to do all the time. I always just <laughs> chalked it up to me being a Gemini and loving to talk. And I felt like I had to over explain everything. And I did a lot of inner work and I realized that that was a trauma response from my childhood that I had to just over explain all of these things when that's not, I know, no. <laughs> Save that energy for yourself so you can fill yourself up, so you can feel more abundant. And when we have all this overflow from working and loving ourselves wholly and fully, then we can move forward and share that with other people. Oh, this makes me so excited because I'm telling y'all, I have been feeling the funk as well, like I said earlier. So this makes me feel really happy that even though we're, we might be in it. It's, it's like, okay, so this is, life is like this, right? <laughs> I feel like a lot of us have been here and then we're up here and I feel like we're just about to get over the hump. And I just heard a few weeks this time, but energy changes and is different for each and every one of us. So take that with a grain of salt. Um, I don't like having timelines for things just because the energy can shift with the choices, decisions that we make. But no, no matter what happens, no matter what decision you make, nothing you do can muck it up. Nothing you do is going to affect you in a horrible, horrible way when you're aligning yourself with your true self. There's no wrong decision, if that makes sense. Let me know in the comments down below. Please also put your comments down there. Let me give you guys back some love and affirmations to help you on your path. If anybody wants to work with me, I offer one-on-one -on -one sessions right now. I have $20 for 20 minutes for brand new clients. I have my December's calendar open, so go ahead and book. Um, also, I have online courses for those of you who are self-study, you want to read. That's an awesome thing because I have a group that will bring you guys into and I offer coaching in there as well. Um, and for those of you who have not already hit that like button, go ahead and do it and make sure you subscribe. I'm here now back. <laughs> like I've never gone, but like I'm more guided to be putting out videos. So let me know what you want to see. I offer, well, it's all in the about section. I will put it all down in the description box for you. I'm so excited to see you guys. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching to the end. I love you all dearly. Bye.